Hi, Lawrence Dodds here with a short video on how to remove the heat sink assembly and remove the thermal paste and reseat the CPU. So let's get stuck in and remove this off of here. There's the bolts on each corner. So we're going to remove these locking bolts off of here. Now I'm not going to undo each one fully. I'm just going to undo about halfway on each one, one at a time, just so I can gently um, make sure that this is level all the way. So I don't want to pull the CPU up on one corner and perhaps cause some damage. So I'm just turning it one by one. Let's just have a look. No, that's still tightly in. So we're going to just unscrew them a little bit more. Keep going and still tight on there and just keep turning that and that one and let's just do the final one there and yes that's off there now ah right look at this you can see the thermal paste on here it's over here but look just there on the corner we've got some thermal paste that's missing off of the corner there. It's pretty insignificant really. I can't see that that's causing much of a thermal problem. Anyway, let's detach the power lead for the fan on the heatsink, put that to one side. And then let's look at this CPU here. Now, on here the paste is fully over the CPU. It looks fine to me in fact. Um, we're gonna remove the tensioner here, but the does look like the heat sink has uh, moved all the paste around there quite evenly. It looks fine. But anyway, nevertheless, let's remove this tensioner arm off of here. So let's pull that over and lift the arm assembly up. And I'm going to pause right here because I just want to bring something to your attention. Look at the bottom right hand corner of the CPU right there. There is the gold triangle and the white triangle there. Now remember, if your board looks like this on most CPUs, you're going to have to remember to mentally take a note of where that triangle is because you're going to be putting your CPU back in the same position and you don't want to put it the wrong way around and clamp it all down. It won't fit properly anyway if you try to put it in another way. But um, anyway, I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. So on with the video. So let's pull that out and look at the bottom. No burn marks, that looks fine to me. So, okay, so we're going to end this part of the video here. I'm just going to clean this off. So let's move over to that. So here is the CPU. You can see all the crusted on uh, paste, the thermal paste on the top. I'm wearing gloves to protect uh, my fingers from getting all the paste into all the grooves of my fingers and protect the CPU from oil. So I'm going to use this credit card, old credit card of mine, because it's plastic. I don't want to scratch the surface of the CPU as I move it across. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to use the edge of this and the edge is fairly flat. Let's try that side. So we're just going to move that across on there. And a bit more on there. That's that's most of it off. So we're just you know, we're not creating any scratches on there. So now I'm going to use some some cleaning fluid. I'm going to use this uh, isopropanol that I have here in this uh, plastic container. There it is, isopropanol, and I'm going to use that. It's just an alcohol type solution, and I'm just going to wipe off the rest of the residue on there and just move that over and give it a nice clean and just turn that over and, and just give that a nice clean. You can see it's nice and shiny new looking on there. So that's removed all of that off of there. Uh, so that looks great. Nice and shiny and clean looking. And now we are going to get the heat sink and do the same on that one. So let's pop that down there. And let's get my card and wipe the edge. And then let's just start scraping that one off. And a little bit more. 
and, and get the last bits of that off of there. Let's clean that. Now let's get the cleaning fluid and put some of that on a tissue paper and uh, and then let's just start rubbing that off of there. Okay, you can just see this pattern emerging through there. That's where some of it is rubbed clean. So there's, you can see all those micro scratches all in the surface there. That's what the thermal paste is designed to do to fill those, those fissures, those little micro cracks or scratches rather, not cracks on the surface just there. And so you get a very good conductive um, thermal element uh, bridge between the CPU and the heat sink on the surface there. So that's what the paste does, it fills that up there. So, okay, so let's now put the CPU back into the socket on the motherboard and get that put back in place and put some paste on it for you. So let's do that now then. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put the CPU back in the motherboard. Now, before we do put this back in, something to note is, how do you know which way around this CPU sits back in this socket here? Now on the corner, you can see there's a little gold triangle, gold arrow pointing towards this corner. And if we have a look on the motherboard itself, just very carefully, I can just make out, just down in this corner here, there's a, a white painted corner, a white triangle in this corner, and I don't see it in any of the others. So I'm going to just carefully put this in and see if it fits. And it does, it actually fits perfectly in there. If I try and put this the other way around, I won't damage it, but if I just gently lay it in a different way around, it just will not fit. So that is correct. So that little triangle lines up with the white triangle corner that I can just make out on the other side. And that fits in just snugly there. So there's no mistakes, it does fit in there. So now I'm just going to close the lid down on there. Put that down on that one push this lever down and let's just pop that into place there we go that should just slide underneath that locking nut there push that down to create tension and lock the bar in place that's it and I'm just feeling all the way around because I just want to make sure that that is correct so I'm just going to release it once again and double check I did that right the first time so that's in place there, so that's fine. The next thing I'm going to do is to put the thermal paste onto the CPU and a little bit onto the heatsink as well. So here we go, we're going to put some paste onto this CPU there. There's quite a lot onto there. And I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit with my finger. Um, as I said, this is why I'm wearing gloves, is that I don't have to go through the procedure of uh, cleaning all that off. So let's just move that around gently over the CPU. I want to make sure I get most of it, well, as much as I can. Now I've actually put quite a lot on there. So what I'm going to do now, uh, I've made sure it sort of goes around everywhere on the CPU. All we need to do now is to affix the heatsink back onto the motherboard. So let's just do that. And I'm just checking to see the alignment, see that uh, if there's any obstacles or any way that this should go in a particular way onto the motherboard. And I can see straight away it's quite universal, so it doesn't really matter which way. But what I am thinking about is where the lead goes to the heatsink for the fan. And I can see the heatsink fan connects on the motherboard just down there just on the other side of that memory module so i think the best way to have it is to have the cable that side so that's how i'm going to position that over the little holes on the motherboard so we're going to just align those up onto there and i'm just positioning the threads of the screws over the holes on the motherboard. I'm not forcing them in, so they're there, that's all in 
the grep position and I'm just going to gently start turning these screws and I can feel it going down on that one side. Now I'm not going to tighten that all the way, I just want to make sure we're anchored in all the way around first. So I'm going to go to the opposite corner and do the same there. And that's bitten in as well, so we're going to go to the other corner. And then to the last corner there. And then we just go around all of those now and just tighten them up. Remember, don't use too much force on these. And just as they're almost finger tight, you want to let go then. So this is just pulling the springs down and clamping the heatsink onto the CPU. And that should be there. So that's it, that's firmly on there. Now all I need to do is to plug the power lead back onto the socket on the motherboard which is just down there so we're just going to do that that's it job done thank you very much for watching